Hey folks, this just came out and it was sent to me. It's made by Print and it's a grip, a camera grip for your iPhone. This is how it works. I got an iPhone here and I can just slide it in here like that and it's plugged in and now I can use the zoom button and the camera button here to take photos. So you're going to say it's a camera grip, big deal, it looks kind of bulky, haha, -ha! there's way more to this story, let me show you. First of all, it's adjustable, so it'll hold anything up to an iPhone 7 plus in size, um, in a case even, this connector is nicely flexible and protrudes out so that you can accommodate cases and you can slide it back to its normal size like that. As a little thing for a lanyard on this side so you can attach it. As I said, there's a shutter button and a zoom button. And then there's an LED here somewhere, wherever it is, right there in the front. So what else does it do? Oh, of course, micro USB and a reset button. And you probably figured out already there's some kind of magazine here and some kind of slot down here. Well, that's because it's a photo printer, guys. Look at it. Um, this magazine can hold 10 sheets of zero ink paper, zinc paper as it's known. Uh, it's made by, by a company, it's like a licensed product that lets you print on papers that contain the ink inside the paper. So this is, I have one sheet left here, but um, they come in 10, in packs of 10. And I've already uh, printed nine, obviously, and had a good time. Uh, I've got a whole bunch more packs, but for this video review, I just want to um, to just show you. So, can never remember which one of the things I don't like is I can never remember which way the magazine goes into the slot. So there you go, it's in, and then it comes out here when it prints. That's what this bottom slot is, and there's a battery in here, which is why it has a micro USB charging connector. So it's called Print. It's their second generation product. Uh, it's called Print Pocket to be specific. And it's iPhone only right now. It will eventually, they'll have an Android version available. So I pulled out my trusty old iPhone 6, not very new, this one, um, to, to use for this demo. And uh, so what it is, is you just, you know, as I said, slide it in here and then kind of squeeze it, and then it's captive, like it won't fall out if you shake it. It's pretty good design. Um, that was my biggest concern, is that it might slide out, but it feels really solid in there. So that's cool. Um, so the way the app works, um, just to show you, it's in there somewhere in my many apps, uh, right there, print. So you run the app, and uh, at first it will uh, update the firmware on, this, uh, you know, on the, the grip, the, the printer if you want and and you know let you uh, configure everything but I've already done that so I got a bunch of photos in my gallery that I've taken before and I can print these and of course I can print anything from uh, you know if I go to home here and I go to my library I can print anything that's in my library right now um, you know no problem at all see I've printed this one it says printed so you're going to say, okay, big deal. It's a photo printer as a camera grip that adds, you know, uh, by the way, this tells you it's powered. And this, when it's lit up, tells you that uh, it's uh, while well, lit up stronger. It tells you that it's charging, which is kind of cool. Um, so you can say, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is this is kind of like Harry Potter come, photos come to life thing. So if I um, take a picture uh, right now of my hand, right? Watch. And I go like this. Oops, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> uh, I wanted to go to the camera. And so if I, you know, make, make my hand do something silly like this. And actually, let's do something more fun than my hand. Uh, I have a BlackBerry Key 1 here. So... Let me take a photo of my BlackBerry Key 1. And the way I'm going to do it, if you take a photo, you can print it. Yeah, but it also does a six-second video or like or a three-second video loop. 
and it records that alongside the photo. So let me show you, for example, if I start pushing the, see I can, oh, my phone's gone, gone dark, but there's a zoom button here, the zoom wheel works, of course, and if I hit, um, if I unlock the Blackberry, and maybe it'll focus, maybe tap to focus, there we go, okay. So if I take a photo now, and immediately, really quickly open this, the app tray, there, I'm opening the app tray. So let's see. Let's play the animation. I don't know if this will actually play. But there you go. You can see my little, my finger doing the thing. So that animation can be embedded in the photo you print. And let me show you that. So if I go to print it now, there we go, it's rendering it, and it's gonna come out, grab that piece of paper, and it's gonna come out the other end. So you can do this with any photo, right? But the cool thing is that it embeds the video in the actual physical print. And then you can give this print to someone, and they can see the video by pointing the app to that print of the photo. Check it out. So it's printing, as you can see. And there's this cool animation on the screen. So there you go. So awesome. Bring your print photos to life. So, as you, uh, you know, that's the part it was just telling me about. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, somehow it's still in demo mode because I think I just reinstalled the app. But if I go into my, my account, you can see all the photos I've taken with the print app. So there's a whole bunch here. Uh, this one has no animation, but, um, you know, it tells you how many views people have had on it, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. But here's a good one of some people you might know, Michael Josh and Nicole Scott at um, Computex. And you can see the animation. So if I print this photo, we'll get the animation, this animation embedded in the print. As you can see, the print is static. It's just a piece of paper. But if I scan it with the app, and again, you don't need the printer for this, you just need the app. Uh, I'm holding it like this, and you ready? Look at that. You see that? Now you don't. Now you see it. So it's like Harry Potter photos. It's magic. Look at that. So the cool thing is I can send this to a friend with a little video loop embedded. And if, if there is audio, audio will come out. Right now I've got my phone muted, but if I uh, believe that we can actually get audio to go with it. I'm not hearing any audio. Maybe I didn't say anything, but it, it's, it works. And it's very, very cool because, you know, it's fun. Like you can send people prints you know, and they they look like something completely static and then you put them in front of the app and boom, it becomes live. And all they need is the app, they don't need the actual printer. Uh, another cool feature is that you can order paper from inside the, the app, so right, so you can go in here and, where is it? I know there is a way to do this. Uh, I think perhaps here, shop print. So you can order some photo paper and it'll send it, send it right to your home. Really convenient. So anyway, so Print Pocket is basically new. It just came out um, and it's their second gen product. And uh, you know, it's a lot more compact. The previous generation product was a big case uh, that made your phone, it was a bit, a bit thinner than this, but it basically made your phone really bulky. Whereas now you can just remove it, right? And you put it back, you know, whenever you need it, you just slide it open a little bit, stick it back in, and off you go, right? I just silenced the phone. Um, and that's what's cool about it. It's like instant photography with this cool grip with the zoom key and the shutter button. Ten pieces of paper, I think each print is about a dollar. It's really cheap. Um, quite not quite sure how much the printer costs. I think it's like 150 or $100. 
uh, really nothing too expensive and it's a lot of fun. Now, the old version was Android and iOS. Uh, basically, there has a bunch of adapters you install here on the old one because there was a whole case for all the different types of phones. But by making this design universal here, uh, in terms of width and stuff, they made it so that one device can work with, in this case, a series of, of, of phones, all the different iPhones. And I believe that they're going to be coming out with an Android version that instead of having the Lightning connector here, we'll have a USB Type-C connector uh, so that all the new current flagships will just work. So that's, that's print in a nutshell. It's very, very cool. Now, I want to make a quick disclaimer before I finish this video that for the very original print device, the one that was a big case, I helped them with crowdfunding. Uh, that was two years ago. I have not been in touch with the company at all in the last two years. So um, I feel that, you know, this is a completely different product I'm doing a review of. So I just want to make sure that I'm 100% transparent with you, my audience, that I did help them with the original crowdfunding for the original product, not this new product, which was not crowdfunded and which I didn't have anything to do with. But I'm excited about it. I think, you know, like the original, it's fun and it, it holds that promise of being able to print photos anywhere and adds that cool little animated touch to the device. So to the photos. And to point to you that you don't need this printer slash grip, let me just do the scanner again and show you that indeed the animation will still play on the app even if you don't have the printer itself, the grip itself, just, just the app. You can install the app. It's so print with a Y. Um, and it's available in the App Store. There's obviously an Android version that you can install to uh, scan Android, uh, to scan them these photos on Android. And with the original product, the original print case, you can use Android devices, a very limited set of them. But um, I believe they're coming out with a new version that will support Android with USB Type-C, so stay tuned for that. Um, again, pricing, check online. I'm not exactly sure. Go to pryant.com. In fact, I'm just going to do that right now and let you know. Let's have a quick look. There's Print Co. So how much is that? I was right, $150. Woohoo! I did remember that properly somehow. So there you have it. Oh, I should bring up the app. Um, the Print Pocket Device, a cool little photo printer. Zero Ink is a quite a marvelous technology. The picture quality is not bad at all. It's like Polaroids, but kind of the new version. Zero Ink, Zinc, Paper. And uh, there's some very loud stuff going on outside my door. But stay tuned for more videos. I'm done for the day. I've got three live videos today. Uh, check them out. Um, one last thing I wanted to say is please subscribe to my podcast. And I'll have a new weekly podcast. You can uh, check it out at... Um, mobiletechpodcast.com that's mobiletechpodcast.com go and subscribe to have more of my rants and raves and I have some interesting guests a lot of my journalist friends are on we talk about phones we talked about mobile devices in general and uh, more importantly um, it's a great place to keep in touch with me uh, and uh, if you forget you need to subscribe uh, go to that URL mobile podcast uh, sorry mobiletechpodcast.com my Twitter handle as well, Tankerl, if you don't know. But uh, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel no matter what. Tell your friends about these unboxing and review videos. And subscribe to the podcast. There's an RSS feed. It's available on Pocket Cast, available on iTunes, etc. Just search for my Twitter handle, Tankerl. All right, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more. And don't forget to subscribe, all right? Cheers. Bye, everybody.